Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. Today we will learn about Laravel from validation. Last day we have discussed about Laravel crude and we have built a crude application using Laravel 8. So here I have already created a form that is at client form that is name, email and address and submit button and I already built a route here and this is the controller that is client controller and this is the at client view so here is the at client view okay so we all know how to create a blade and how to create a controller and how to use a route so today i will show you how to validate this form so here you can see in my form the action is blank so i need to create a route that is for save client and my route name is save client dot save and my function name is save client okay so let's add the client save in our blade so just use inside the double braces use the route and inside the route provide the name that is client dot save that means when you click on submit button this will call so i have a function that is save client suppose here i am printing that is a return dollar request arrow and here my name is dollar name so here i am writing in the invert comma name is dollar request and after that I'm using the BR tag so it will print a new line and so here I will write uh, email is request email and that is the name of the column and the same way I will using the BR tag here and will print oh, my address is dollar request address okay so this is the address so we have to put the name of the text here that is address so all are set so just refresh this url and for name i am providing suppose john and i am not providing any email or address and just submit this is so oh sorry this will be the post so i am providing the gate here okay so just refresh this and i'm providing john here and submit this so it will print the name is john but email is blank and address is blank okay so first i have to set the email should be mandatory or name should be mandatory so let's add the validate function so in a controller we need to use the validate function suppose i am taking a variable that is validated data and i'm using the request variable and i am calling the validate method here so this is the validate method and inside the validate method we can provide the array for validation so so here i can provide the name and suppose i am providing the name will be the required field and after that i can set the email suppose for email i am providing the email also be required and for address so here the request variable address and here i am providing the addresses also required okay so all three fields are required so if we submit this page then this page will not submit now so if we refresh this page i want to show the validation message in the top of the page so how can we add this so in the blade file we will use a dollar errors any that means if any error found then 
the error will print inside this if statement okay so i'm just using the ul and i'm closing the ul so inside the ul i will print all errors at a time so just use the for each loop and here i am using dollar errors variable to print all error as error and end for each okay and inside the for each loop we will print all errors using the li okay so to print error we just use inside the curly braces dollar error so here i am provided a class that is danger so it will appear as a red so the class is here i am using the color is red and font is 24 okay so just refresh this page and trying to submit this so while submit it's saying email field is required and address field also is required actually while submit my name field was not blank that's the reason name is not appear here so now i am providing suppose name is john email is john address is my address okay just submit this so here we can see my name is john and email is john and address my address and you can see the email is john but this is not valid email so how we can validate email so to validate email we have another parameter that is we need to use the require and after that pipe and use the email so this will validate the email also so if you just refresh this and submit this page again so i'm using submit so here are the output the email must be a valid email address so we need to provide the valid email so i am providing the john at the rate gmail.com and address is my address okay so now submit it and here we can see the email is validated now we have another things that is we can set the minimum and maximum so here i am setting minimum 4 and maximum suppose 15 okay means the name field should have a minimum 4 character and it can be maximum up to 15 so if we use the john and the email is john at the gmail.com so here the john is three character only so if we submit it will say the name must be at least four character so the three character will not allow so i am providing the name is johnny and providing the email johnny at the rate gmail.com and address is my address okay so we can see the form is submitted and now we can understand how to print errors in the blade so now if you want to customize the error means the error will be show just below the field so how we can do this okay it is very simple so just remove these things whatever we have done for all errors and using below the field so here we will write error and the field name that is name and we add the end error okay and to print i will use suppose span and my class is same is danger and i am closing the span tag and here my error is dollar message okay so in this way we can print just below the field so just copy this and paste this after email and after text also so here we need to change the name that is for address and that is for email okay so now refresh this page again and let's submit this so here you can see the name the name field is required is showing just 
below the name field and for email and for address so it is working as like previous now if we provide the three character in name and email is not valid then also it will show the name must be at least four character and email must be valid and after that email johnny at the red gmail.com and address is my address so just submit this so we submit successfully so that's all about laravel from validation concept please comment your queries if you have any doubts in the below comment section please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video next day i will discuss about laravel file upload thanks for watching this video